Eyewitness News. And hey, oh hi, it's Seth, and I'm here with the extraordinary Kelly Wood. Uh, welcome to my office. Uh, welcome to an update about the Alt MBA and things going on. I want to frame this with the following. You can't see, but to my right here is a framed cover signed 34 years ago to me by Ray Bradbury. Ray Bradbury back in the news because Fahrenheit 451 was on TV. And I'm thinking about my relationship with Ray, who instigated a big idea, and then we had to do all the work on my right. And then on my left, Kelly, who took a big idea and has done all the work. And it has been a privilege to work with you for all these years. More than a thousand days you and I have been working together. Really? I think wow. so. Wow. I've got to look at and, that. Um, Kelly's not usually in the office. She's usually in cyberspace doing magic. Mm -hmm. And we persuaded her to come south to talk to us about Alt-MBA, about change, about leveling up, about making a ruckus, about our platform, about our alumni, about our coaches. We got a ton to talk about. Welcome. Thanks for having I me. I am so privileged to have you in the room. It's different to talk to you than to type to you. And I, I'm just, I love seeing you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, it's wonderful to be here. I'm grateful. Hello. <laughs> so, quick history. We met how many years ago? Three. Three years ago at an event that was uh, across the street. And then when Alt-MBA 1 happened, there was one person in it who was extra sparkly, present, generous, connected, and that was you. And after Alt-MBA 1, we had to make a decision. Because it wasn't called Alt-MBA 1. It was called Alt-MBA. The question is, should there be Alt-MBA 2? And... Uh, the answer was yes, but we needed some coaches, and the first person I thought to reach out to was you, and you were there from the very beginning. I'm, uh, I'm one of the originals, so it's been amazing to build something uh, from the ground up, and uh, I love startups, and I love figuring it out. Uh, ambiguity and crossing Antarctica, if it doesn't have a future, uh, I want to be you know, in the person of one of the people that's creating the future and leading the way and building the team that uh, wants to help us get across uh, without a map. <laughs> Exactly. So tell us a little bit about your coaching cadre. How many people are there? What kind of, where are they in the world? What's that like? Yeah, I think um, it's really important just to understand that the coaches community is a phenomenon and I really look at what we've built and it truly has changed not just how people work together but how people work together online. Uh, so we have started out with a group of five and then it went to 10, 12, 15, now we're all the way up to 40 uh, and there's alumni that are all over the world. Uh, the best part is, is they've always been students first so they know exactly what we do and are right there with our students and can empathize completely with the journey but from Sydney to Dubai to London to Vancouver to Los Angeles, they're all over the world, but the magic really happens is, is that the diversity of perspectives all around the world gives such a global lens to tackle any problem. So diversity is truly our strength uh, to be able to understand yeah. you know, where everybody's coming from and the Pete, challenges Pete that they face. Pete was here just last week yeah. talking about it. So to reiterate, the coaches don't know the answer because there is no answer key. That's a key part of what's happening here. The question that you know that bothers me the most is will this be on the test? So it's not about the test and the certificate. What is it about? What's the journey about for you when a student arrives during that 30 days when it's you, them, the coaches, each other? What's the change we seek to make? One of the most profound things that you taught me in your original talk about what is school for is the indoctrinated mindset of industrialized education. So the benefit of having coaches is that they truly see the student where they are and mm -hmm. help the student find their truth. So it's not necessarily this is the perfect answer or this is the way to do it. It's their way to be able to do it and their power, their empathy, their kindness, their generosity, their smarts. We have some of the smartest people I've ever met um, that are on the team and are able to challenge in a really healthy and important way to really see the student where it's not you're a class of 30 and you just submit an assignment or you submit a test this is about that student their work their voice their intelligence and their vision or change that they want to make in the future love this all right so i have to make two announcements now announcement number one is if you type the word start into the comments our bot will be happy to hear from you and our bot will send you a prompt every day to get you thinking to challenge you, to connect you further. So it's free, you turn off anytime you want, the word start. But the other thing, there are some people who like to go first, who wanna wait in line early in the morning, who want early bird specials. But then there's most people, and most people wanna wait till the end, till the deadline. I don't like the word deadline, 
It includes the word line and it includes the word dead. We're trying to avoid both of those things. However, Tuesday, May 27th, 9th, May 29th <laughs> is the day you should circle because if you show up at the end of Tuesday or even Wednesday, we're going to say, sorry, you're too late. The summer session of Alt MBA is reaching its final deadline for applications. We've gotten hundreds of really good applications. This is an extraordinary class that's shaping up. Turns out if you live in Australia or similar, summer is winter and it's a great time to do it. But if you live on the East Coast, United States, Europe, Northern Hemisphere, summer is also a good time because everyone else has slowed down a little bit. And I was thinking just the other day, actually four o'clock this morning, I was thinking, <laughs> how surprising is it? We don't sell candy bars. We don't sell collectible figurines. We sell a 30-day, really difficult, energetic workshop. And people want to do that. They voluntarily decide they want to do extra. And I think that's the secret to our success is only the right people show up. The people who want something else. Yeah, I think it's definitely one of the most profound questions that inspired me to go and be one of the first to sign up was uh, I had somebody that challenged me in my life that said, what are you here to accomplish in, in life? And so the most important thing that happens is you're surrounded by people. You are the sum of the five people that you are around. And if you want to be challenged, if you want to know what better looks like, if you want to explore the next phase of your career, if you want to have your mind stretched in ways that it hasn't, there are lots of people who are opting in for the default. But if you want to live with intent, uh, and design a life or design an education yep. or design a mentality that you're proud of, this is definitely the place to be. I love the idea of the default. Most people accept the default. They accept it with their 401k. They accept it with their job. This is for people who want more than the default. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Samuel, you want to do some questions? Yes. Let's do some. All right. So this one is from Gwen. Can you tell us about who the Alt-MBA coaches are? Uh some of the most extraordinary human beings I've met. Gwen's got you started. I'm, this I'm could go on all day. I'm blushing. I'm, they I'm go blushing. to each other's yes. weddings. They fly across the world to hang out. We do. Out. We, uh, we've created a phenomenon where we never thought that over the internet we had an amazing event last summer where 50 people that had never met before all over the world flew into New York, uh, had an amazing... Hung uh, out in my backyard. It was it's amazing. <laughs> and uh, all these people, we couldn't believe that You know, when we were going through customs, how did you guys meet each other? <laughs> oh, we're just <laughs> to visit our friends from the internet um, but the amazing thing is is there are everybody from you know Pete from Amazon who's who's head of uh, working on Alexa right now and uh, you know every, everybody from personalized coaches to just the diversity of the team and perspectives and intelligence the collective intelligence whether you're being coached by Marie or Ian who comes from our product background so the diversity of the team isn't just in their location but in the diversity of their perspective and their diversity in their career so we have computer science guys we have engineers we have uh, healthcare practitioners, we have a psychologist, uh, there's some really extraordinary... One thing people. that's really cool, and this is a testament to how you're building this group, is unlike me, the coaches don't interrupt people all the time. They leave space. And that's a discipline and that's a talent, to leave space for the people they're working with to move forward. And so, I don't know how many times we have to say it, there are no secrets inside Alt-MBA, there are no videos really of me, there's not a here, learn this and you will know something other people don't. It's an experience to challenge oneself. It's a workshop where we work to go to the next level. And you and the coaches, I think, have modeled that behavior so beautifully for people. We learned that from you. We stole that from you, uh, especially with the whole notion about possibility. And so we talked a lot about default, but one of the things that if you want somebody to grow, first thing you need to create psychological safety or safety that there yep. is possibility in that and challenge about, you know, the really tough question, which is, you know, what do you want? And uh, the coaches are extraordinary at just seeing humans as they are with deep empathy and with huge amounts of respect and pulling them out with curiosity because in order to have creativity, safe places need to, to happen. And uh, we have some awesome people that are just Love in their it. bones great. Love it. If you've got a question, type it in. That's the magic of Facebook Live. Otherwise, we could just record this in advance and then it would be Facebook, I don't know, dead. But no, it's Facebook Live. <laughs> Go ahead and post your questions in the comments. I'm a little punch drunk. I was across the country very <laughs> early this morning. Okay. All right. This one's from Annabelle. Where do you see the Alt MBA in five years? You know what? I'm more interested in where do I see our alumni in five years. Kelly and I decided early on that the goal of the Alt MBA is not to be bigger. 
And if we don't have the right people, we just don't run another session. We just we will do this when the right people are present. Uh, we have found now that we have more than two thousand alumni, the right people keep showing up. But in five years, our alumni are going to keep doing what they're doing, which is weaving, which is leading, which is making this sort of ruckus. And so technically, we just rebuilt all the software for the Alt MBA. We're going to keep doing that sort of stuff internally. But you and I, I think, are both on the same page about that external thing, right? Yeah, I, I just want to make sure that I recognize your audacity of what you're trying to do to disrupt learning that happens online. And Clay Christensen, the Harvard Business School professor, he asserted earlier in November that half of the U.S. universities would be bankrupt in 10 to 15 years. Uh, so what you've done and the ability to communicate, collaborate efficiently all around the world with so many different perspectives, I think the future of online your education especially is exceptionally bright. Uh, and you were first. Well, you were thank first. you. All right, this one's from Susan. Who are the right people for the Alt MBA? You want to go? It doesn't matter what you look like, what your job title is, where you live. We throw those three things out the window. What makes for me the right person, and I want Sam to go second here, is what do you want, what do you believe, and what do you care about? Because it's that thing of going beyond the default. That's what we're looking for. So we don't say, what were your SAT scores? And we don't say, how much money do you make now? We're saying, what do you want? When you look at the future, what do you see? That's how we know we found the right person. Sam, when you're, you, Sam does the first round of all of our applications and everything. Is that, is that, are we in sync on this? Yeah, definitely. And um, I always try to pick people who, are, um, who I think I could sit with and learn something from. And that's yeah, the Fantastic. Most Love that. You want to chime in on this? Just, it's one of those things where we ask the question of who's this person going to be in a learning group and are they going to inspire that person to be their best self? And the questions that we ask are intent about who are you going to be when you walk in the room? Uh, you know, because our, our goal is possibility. Right? Yeah, a lot of people ask, uh, do we have any tips for the application? Like what's the best way to get in? And the answer is to apply. And give thoughtful answers. Yeah. yeah, but if you don't apply, I guarantee you're not going to get yeah. it. Guaranteed. Right. All right, this one from Patricia. How do you assign students to coaches in the Alt MBA? The m most important thing is, is making sure that the student is set up for success in their learning experience within their time zone. So that's a huge factor, which is the coaches, we want to make sure that we're within your daylight hours and working hours, and we do a lot of hard work behind the scenes to make sure that everybody is awake and online at let's say 6 p.m. Eastern time and you're with a New York coach of somebody that can respond. So that's first and foremost is setting students up for success, not just putting them in a place just for the sake of putting them yep. in a place. Um, it's also really important for us to have diversity and uh, we love making sure that other people have the ability to learn from one another and having, you know, putting a somebody from healthcare together with a software engineer exactly. is fascinating um, and watching them teach each other because you get into your own echo chamber often if you stay within your own discipline and everybody can be your teacher if you choose to let them be. So let's say for the sake of argument, there's an age uh, difference between the two. Uh, that 26 year old that's in your learning group is actually your customer. And if you look at that from the lens, um, you can get so much. So the it. status roles get really interesting here. So Sheila from a couple of sessions ago, 70 something. Yeah. 84. Oh, 84. Amazing. 84. Isle of Man. So you show up in your learning group and go, oh, I got an 84 year old in my group. Well, guess what? She contributed more than just about anybody in the whole thing. Or someone sent us a note saying there aren't enough famous people in my circle. Well, famous companies mean something maybe, but maybe they don't. And what we hear is after the fact, someone says, you know, I learned more from the poet than I learned from the brand manager. So when we're talking about diversity, we're talking about diversity of experience, diversity of background, but everyone is going in the same direction. And that direction is to level up. That is consistent. I also think it's important to recognize that you come to Alt MBA for you. It's your journey. And if you're focused on what other people are doing around you and getting all caught up in, yep. in that kind of stuff, at the end of the day, you signed up. You're the one that's doing the work. And you can look around at every, how everybody else is running the race or you can run your own. So Well said. All right. This one's from Rebecca. Um, now that the Alt MBA has delivered 21 sessions, when you reflect on this important work, I'm curious what you have learned, how you have grown, and what dots are better connected in your own life. You go first. Um, 
So I'm three years out as an alumni, and the program that you have written is like seeing the matrix. <laughs> um, I feel like I've been taught to see the matrix where my ability to see people, to lead anybody, to understand why people do certain things. And I went to business school. I went to a great business school. But the skills that you teach in modern leadership to help get change to happen, whether it's within your team or within an individual, uh, is phenomenal. I find I'm so much more empathetic, I'm much more patient, I'm more forgiving. Uh, and the other two defaults is, you know, don't make assumptions because you have to look at empathy and worldviews and storytelling and cultural background. But as a human being, uh, I'm a, the best version of myself, uh, both personally and professionally. I, I've loved watching you grow and it's been spectacular. You know, I was an adjunct at NYU. The model of a college professor is you sit in the classroom, all the students who are paying $400 a class, have their laptops open and they're checking Facebook. You are lecturing to no one. Then they go off and you have no idea what happens when they're not in the room. And then they take a test. And if they do well in the test, you're supposed to be pleased. The model here is we can watch everything that's happening because it's happening in Zoom rooms. It's happening in discourse. It's happening in learning groups. It's happening in the daily things that people are publishing in the comments and the RSs. And so we can see where we're landing and where we're not. So Kelly and I have rebuilt two or three of the prompts that we, and we will keep working on the weakest ones, but we have learned a ton. And I've gotten better because I've seen what other people want to do to get better. And I've also discovered that there really is a huge gap between people who believe in themselves and the people who will feel more comfortable pretending they don't believe in themselves. A gap between the people who want to level up and the people who want the status quo. And so, as I said earlier, we're cheating by just getting people from one quadrant. But by assembling those people and finding the others, we reinforce for folks that it's okay. And that idea that it's okay, that it's going to work out, that you can get to where you're going, that's golden. And it's such a privilege. Two okay. more. This one from Donnie. What kind of projects are done in the Alt MBA? So we get asked this question a lot. And there's a question behind the question. Uh, it is, will I succeed at this? Or it might be, if I just knew what the projects were, I wouldn't have to take it. Or it might be, will this be on the test? Because I could just study before I get there. We could tell you all the projects, but then I would have to invent new ones. Because the very nature of what we are doing is experiential. That what we want to have happen is for people in that moment to experience it. So if you say, what's outward bound like? Someone can say, well, you're going to climb these rocks. But you're not actually there to climb rocks. You can climb rocks at home. You're there because in that moment, that experience surrounded by those people on that day will help change you. So you're going to climb some rocks. And it doesn't really matter the specifics of the rocks. What matters is in that moment, the experience will change you. And all I have to do is say, ask one of the 2,000 people who have been through it. Just ask them. We're not keeping some big secret. They'll tell you one or two of the things, but it's not going to help you. It's not going to help you understand this any more than if someone describes a massage to you. It will help you understand what it's like to get a massage. So you've probably been asked this at least as many times as me, but that's my usual answer. Huge one for me was Alt MBA filled in all of the gaps that were missing in business school, and all of the ways that actual real world works and working with people uh, that actually enhanced your ability to be a professional and be your best professional self. So I've, there's so many skills and tools. It's like walking around with a like a superhero <laughs> with a safety belt or your special utility tool belt. belt. Sorry, yeah, Sheesh, yeah. I, I know. I gotta work on my superheroes. Where did I put it? I oh. took it down just because you were here. Because you're not a but superhero you put person. But the rocket surgery one up. Yeah. All right. But we have utility belts. Okay. Just handy here. Anyway, go on. You're, right. you're right. Here Long it is. <laughs> yeah. Right. So it's important to know Superman just has a belt. He doesn't need a utility belt because he's Superman. <laughs> Batman, on the other hand, Batman needs a utility belt because he's just like you and me, a normal guy. He's a psychopath, but he still needs a utility belt. Okay, back to you. If you're searching for your superhero <laughs> belt, <laughs> Alt MBA uh, is for you. All right, and this is the last one. 
Okay. Joseph from Martin. Are we having too much fun? Is this a problem? <laughs> <It's great>. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so Martin. Um, if I if I apply from Ireland, are there real world real world study groups in Ireland I can join to actually work with other students? Martin, I'm about to break open your whole world. Um, <laughs> we love where Ireland. I have to say, three years out, uh, self-professed, uh, I'm a global citizen now, and I challenge you to look at, is Dublin the place that you need to stay? Because you're about to have friends and can sleep on their couches, uh, you know, in London or Paris or, you know. But we've also had more than a dozen, Absolutely. dozens of people from Ireland. Absolutely. Yeah. Lots of... Uh, with lots of students that have been from Ireland, but I think the greatest gift of Alt MBA is just you become a world traveler and a global adventurer. Even if you never leave your house. Exactly. And so you can have a learning group at the same time with somebody in Toronto as Vancouver. And uh, it's uh, it's whether you do it online and sometimes people go and meet in, in person. Uh, right. But it's not built around the in-person meeting. We intentionally made it so that even if someone's around the corner, you're probably going to have the meeting online. It's more intense that way. The Zoom video conferencing, you don't have the distraction of the coffee shop. You're present and then you're gone. And that magic of teleportation, that's important. I think as we try to revolutionize and pioneer true education online that isn't just a replicant of offline education, this idea that you can teleport in, fully present, raring to go, and then go back to the real world, that's important. Hi, hey, Pete. Peter. <laughs> You're awesome, man. That's it? That's it? That's it? All right, wait. To repeat, Tuesday. Don't wait until Tuesday. Let's pretend Monday. Say, Pretend I said Monday. Memorial Day in the United States. Monday is the day to submit your application because summer is your best chance, your very best chance to be part of what we're building, and we would love to have you join us. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Kelly. Thanks for Thank having me. Thank you, Sam, as always. You're great. See you. Bye.